hydraulic fracturing uses huge volumes of water. It involves carcinogens, volatile organic compounds. It's caused earthquakes, it's, it has poisoned wells. It's not safe at all. And so that's why in the state of Maryland, where I come from, we're saying no studies, no fracking. So far, we've held them off. Quadrilla are a fracking company. They have been doing work in Lancashire. They have a 50% failure rate on their wells in Lancashire. They've damaged two of their wells. They continue to frack a damaged well. They've been censored by the Advertising Standards Authority for misrepresentations in leaflets to residents. This is the River Ouse, and Quadrilla's bore in Balcombe is less than half a mile from the river. Ardingline Reservoir, it's 100 yards from the main London to Brighton railway line. Quadrilla has caused earthquakes in Lancashire. It's two and a quarter miles from the Millennium Seed Bank as well, which is a, an underground global resource for the whole planet. With Freck Free Throw, which is um, Freck Free Forest Row, a community in um, East Sussex. And um, it was formed rather spontaneously about four weeks ago when we realized that um, a neighboring village has a drilling hole. And we decided, well, this is also our water, so uh, we need to get involved. They have planning permission in Balkan, which expires at the end of September. Through residents' action and complaint to the Environment Agency, they now, and through Friends of the Earth have been very helpful, they now have to get a mining waste permit and a regular activity permit. Uh, the Environment Agency is consulting on that publicly, and that consultation closes on Tuesday. Quadrilla are saying in Balkan they're only going to use hydrochloric acid only, and citric acid and acetic acid, which they've added because they had to go down under a percentage of 10% hydrochloric acid, or they would have had to have other permits. They're saying they're looking for oil in the micrite, which is a limestone, which is why they're using hydrochloric acid, an acid wash. We're just going to wash it with a bit of acid to see if we can get the oil out. There will be gas, there will be flaring. Flaring involves flames meters high, contaminants blowing across the village. People in Pennsylvania say these flares are like standing like a, beside a live jet engine. It does not bear thinking about. legal right to be here within we're within legal bounds nothing has ever come to court i don't know what you're worrying about honestly you cannot stand in the way of progress oh, yes. progress yes we can this is not progress you are destroying our earth by forcing gallons upon gallons of water down into the soil to try and release gas within that there is poisonous liquids you poison our earth you cause earthquakes this is unfounded
Zaskarżona. Zaskarżona. Do widzenia. A co mogą napisać? Też nie, nie napiszą tak, że to myśmy wygrali, że to nasza strona. To ująć tak, żeby to idą po ich. David Cameron, in an EU summit in Brussels a few weeks ago, said, no regulation must get in the way of shale gas exploitation in Europe. The very companies here that are pushing this shale gas fracking are the very companies that are actually standing for the suppression of many energy technologies. Mm -hmm. According to Paul Hellyer, who was the former defence minister of the Canadian government, there's 5,000 patents that have been sequestrated under the grounds of terrorism, 5,000 patents of energy devices that could free us from the need to use fossil fuels. As you've seen from the film, when these companies start moving, they do so very quickly. They're in there, they start work very fast, and it's going to be very important to have a popular presence of protest as soon as that starts happening, we need a phone tree, we need everybody's contact details. Somebody put this up there, it's a phone tree list to start um, details on. Um, I imagine it might be good to put emails on there if you know you haven't put your email forward. That is an option for us just to fill the um, London Road up with cars. What are they going to do if we just walk away? Are they going to tow away 600 cars? <laughs> Quadrilla do arrive in the village with a rig or major equipment, then there is going to be a peaceful event down opposite the site just to show that we give this industry absolutely no social license. And obviously, whatever anyone else wants to do, like take on your own confidence if you want to stand in the road and you're in a position that you can. Yeah, definitely. It's not usually my thing. It wasn't my thing until about today, really. <laughs> but I just thought it was uh, it was a thing to do. We've written, we've signed petitions, we've talked to people, we've filled in consultations, we've done everything that was at our recourse, and we don't feel we're being heard. So this is the next step to being seen and heard. We just have to act before we think this time because thinking sometimes makes us defer authority and hope that someone else will make decisions for us. My heart was beating and I just told my daughter just this is a moment when you have to just breathe and just trust. Um, we're here for a reason. You agree with us? Uh, let's not be doing that. Thank you. Come on. Good morning, guys. Morning. 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 Morning.
Who wants a sign? It is going to, you know, gain momentum as the day goes on and probably as the days go on and um, we'll be here. Um, they'd even applied to any of the people that had written in. So everybody obviously suspects that it was a foregone conclusion and we don't feel like the Environment Agency have listened to us at all. I'm very concerned because I don't think we're being listened to. I don't think that it, there's any proof that it's safe and we're, it's being railroaded. They've just been given the permit and no satisfactory response has been given to us at all. They turned it round in a matter of days and I don't believe that they can actually have studied it properly. Because you think you live in a democratic society, or you hope you do, and it's not happening here. I live a few miles away from Volcom, but my son goes to Volcom School. And I've really only become sort of related in the last few months, you know, aware of what's going on here. And just really scared about the whole lack of regulation around the industry and the way the government is sort of bulldozing everything through. The other thing is the tax breaks recently um, announced by Osborne for frack companies such as Quadrilla, up to 50% tax breaks. It's just a total, utter bribe. People who've got houses in areas where they're fracking can no longer sell their houses. No one wants to buy there and live there. And in terms of the insurance, if your house, your house won't be insured anymore, there's a new law passed, uh, um, that's just been passed, isn't there? Yeah. That, that means that any risk from fracking you get nothing back on your insurance. If they decide they want to frack, then there will be many wells over this area and any other area they decide to frack to make fracking um, pay. They, they need to do wells every few miles and it will industrialise any area that it goes near, compressor stations, heavy traffic, chemicals being carried around the countryside. <laughs> in America they've had lots of problems with drinking water. People are having, you know, actually not being able to drink their water at all, having to have different tanks um, put in so that they can actually drink water. It's not only the water resources, but it's the poisons that they're putting into the ground, which they're pumping in with the water. You know, we're talking about things like mercury, thimerosal, and, you know, chemicals like that, which are highly toxic. There's no containment, there's every reason that that could go into the aquifers and completely pollute the land. We've seen from what's happened in Pennsylvania and Australia that um, the smallest spill can completely contaminate a local water supply. 50% of wells in America fail over the course of their lifetime, so it's not just an immediate problem, it's a problem that's going to go on for the next 50 to 100 years with contaminated wells being left abandoned throughout our country. In America, people are getting ill, but doctors can't diagnose what it is that's making them ill because the companies all withhold their exact materials going into the frack fluid, so it's all completely corrupt. People have, are losing their farms, their cattle are dying, pets are dying, People have, oh, there's serious health problems, there's neurological problems, children are becoming seriously ill in the areas that are contaminated with the silica which is in the sand um, that they use for the fracking process. It's a dirty fuel, it's a fossil fuel, it's not the way to a cleaner future and an appropriate future for our children. In 20 or 30 years time when the the dash for gas has run out, we will have a blighted countryside and we will still have no energy and we will be saying where is our energy coming from. We need to invest in renewables as much as we possibly can. For today at least, okay, um, this lorry is not going to be going through there. It's going to be... Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. Clearly, for another day, we will uh, obviously have to have another think, but for today, it's going to move straight on. Victory! This was a really big cake in the shape of a drill. It was huge. 
but most of the Balkan children ate it this morning down on the green. It's already been flared once and blown out once, but as we've got some bits and pieces left, we thought we would flare it and blow it out again. There's going to be an ongoing protest here and they need as much support as they can because it's, this is a way to constantly keep the issue in people's awareness. It's not, it's not a one-day thing and then it will go away. This is, this is something that if this drill site goes well, they'll be popping up all over Sussex. They've already issued licences right the way from Royal Tunbridge Wells through to Chichester and Winchester. And most people don't know it's happening. You know, we're not just doing this for Balcom, it's for sort of facking and the regulation of the industry in general. The more people that can come and support it, yes. I, I didn't think that originally, but now I, I do believe that because, you know, we, we can't do this alone. It's too big. No fracking in Balcom. No fracking in Balcom. No fracking.